Hey guys, take me to with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it doesn't ring whenever you're getting incoming call. Now, there's multiple reasons for why your phone might not be ringing when you're getting a call or simply just not receiving anything. We're going to walk you through about 10 to 12 troubleshooting steps in this video, going from some of the easier fixes to some of the more advanced ones that you might have not thought about it. And at the end of the video, hopefully one of this method help you fix your iPhone if it's still not ringing. So first thing first is make sure that whenever you have your phone on here, we have the iPhone 13 Pro here. Make sure on the left hand side it's going to be the silent button as you can see when it's like downward just like this and you see the red thing it is in silent mode which is going to be your main reason it's not going to be ringing now if this is downward you want to put it upward and go ahead and try to see uh, get a call or make someone call you and see if you get ringing so that's the first thing make sure that silent mode is off the next thing you want to do again very obvious is make sure your volume is actually turned off so the volume button is right up here so just press and hold to make sure it's all the way at the maximum here and just check it out to make sure it goes up and down maximum and now go ahead and check these of course are very obvious but again sometimes you might miss it so we want to make sure first thing you got those cleared up and the next thing you want to check out is going from your control center by pulling down the menu here is if your phone is on do not disturb so if you put it on do not disturb which might be on ios 14 as you can see on the focus mode if you click press and hold so again quick press and hold you'll see here do not disturb make sure this is off or any of the focus modes are off because what will happen is if you know the focus mode is off and you don't have the uh, setting to allow calls it will pro allow your phone not to receive any calls so focus mode we want to make sure if it's on just like that highlighted we want to turn it off completely also the next thing you want to check is airplane mode so if your phone is on airplane mode turn it off from airplane mode because you won't get any call if your phone is on airplane mode now I'm moving on uh, to the next thing that might be causing your phone not to ring is if you have any sort of bluetooth audio device connected so for this you're going to go to settings and then hop over to bluetooth here now go check to see if you're connected to any devices here usually if you're connected to a device it will show up here you want to basically make sure that you're not connected to any device that could potentially be going to calls over there instead of ringing on your phone so you can either turn it off just to for if you want to check it and then turn it on well and you can also click on the icon and disconnect that way as well now moving on uh, to the next thing you want to do it's going to be going into your phone's actual settings for the phone itself which you'll see here so the next thing you want to start checking is the setting of the phone itself so for this again you'll be in settings and then we'll go down scroll down here to the option for phone once you're in your phone setting there's a couple settings that you want to check and the first one you want to go ahead and check is call forwarding now you're going to make sure that your call is not being forwarded to any other device which it will have this option on so you want to make sure that option is off because you don't want the phone to be forward it to another device or another phone number. And then the next thing, of course, you want to check is this option for silent unknown caller. Now, this, you might have already turned it on so that you didn't get calls from unknown callers, but if there's an issue with the phone number that you keep, they call you and you're not getting any ring, it might be because of this where it's getting silenced because it doesn't get recognized, so you might want to turn this off and test it out again this option is good to have generally because you don't want calls from outside your contacts or recent outgoing calls or siri suggestion which helps eliminate a lot of spam calls so again test with this one but if you see it this one again generally it's good to have it on but you can try turning it off and see what happens with your incoming calls that are not coming through and then moving further down the line things like block contact you want to make sure that the list here doesn't have that number that is trying to call you because if they try to call you that 
call will not show up and you will not get any ring but it's an obvious one but always good to check as well now after you have checked all of that it's time to move on to the next thing you want to check and that's going to be around going ahead and changing the ringtone so for this one what you want to do is go ahead and check out sounds and haptic and here as you can see the ringtone currently you might have set up one that's default maybe that it's not working go ahead and try a different ringtone maybe that might help again you want to make sure that it's not the ringtone that's the issue so you're going to go around play with the different ones same with vibration go around check that out and then the other thing you want to check is this option here for the actual ringer volume you want to make sure that the ringer volume is not silent sometimes the ringer volume again might not be controlled by these buttons if you have one of these settings off so you're going to make sure this ringer volume is up all the way as much as possible again test it out and to see if that helps your phone be able to get a ring now let's move on to the next thing which is going to be around doing a force restart of your phone now it's generally good practice to do a force restart because it will fix pretty much any sort of minor software issue your phone might be experiencing so on an iphone 8 and above you'll follow this method this is on an iphone 13 but basically do a force restart you're going to press up and up and down the volume keys really quick and then hold this big side button until the screen completely goes black and you see the apple logo so in real time volume up volume down and then we're going to press and hold the side button now if siri activates when you're holding that side button that means you didn't press up and down the volume button really quick so you're going to hold it like that side button as you can see on my right hand side i'm keeping on holding that one till i see the apple logo and then i let go of this big side button again volume up down and then hold the side button until you screen goes black and the apple logo appears and give it good 10 15 seconds so we get back to the home screen and we now have done a force restart and one of the best things you can do to troubleshoot pretty much most software issues on your iphone now moving on to the next thing that you want to check for is actually notifications so if you go back into settings here and go for the option for notifications here and then go for the phone notification you're going to make sure that all of this is selected for example you're going to make sure you allow notification for some reason this is turned off you won't of course get any notification like the rings itself make sure you select these options for the different alerts and all of this looks something like this where it's all on for you again simple but sometimes could be missed or a software update might have turned it off or you accidentally turned it off but again good thing to check Talking about software update, the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is doing a software update on your iPhone. To do that, simply go to settings, general, software update, and check to see if there's a latest version of software update. And you might wonder why you do a software update. Again, software updates, with each update comes new enhancement, bug fixes, security issues, any issues that could be affecting your phone from not being able to ring maybe last update was a bad update and apple released a new one you can go ahead and download and install it just by simply clicking on that and make sure you're connected to a power source and make sure your phone is up to date now if all of this uh didn't work the next thing you can do with jet might help is going into settings again this time go to general again and then scroll down here where you have transfer or reset iphone click on that now you want to click this first option for reset and this time we're going to do a network uh, reset and network reset again before you do this what's going to happen is if it's, if you have things like wi-fi settings your uh, bpn setting all of that related stuff with network is going to be all cleared back to factory reset that will not delete any photos videos apps or anything like this simply for all of the connection network connections that you have like the bpn connections and any sort of wi-fi connections anything that's network related again can help if especially if your phone is having issues with connectivity as well so you want to click on that and get that up as well so this will be the option it will ask you to do it again like it says it will delete all network setting returning them to factory default but not lose any data with this method and after that the next thing you can do if your phone is still not working is doing 
what would be the most effort and it might help again this is something Apple also recommends doing is doing a backup of your phone so first thing is back up your phone either iCloud if you have iCloud backup make sure you go into settings here do iCloud backup by simply going into iCloud and then make sure the backup is on and then you can back up now which will back up your phone now let's say you don't have enough space like for example this one only has five gigs you can back it up on your computer as well you can back up the phone there or if you have another method another phone maybe back it up there you can do that and after you have done a backup what you will want to do is do actual factory reset this option here where it says erase all settings and content now this will delete everything on your phone but because you have the backup again make sure you do the backup before you do this you connect it to the phone or back it up from iCloud and everything will be back and this generally fixes major software issues with the phone by reinstalling the, the iOS version again cleanly and wiping out any bad issues that again again this method remember to back up which is going to be the most important thing and then you can do a restore after you have factory reset it by clicking that option which will again give you this menu which will tell you that it's going to erase your phone and turn off things like activation lock so Hopefully this video is helpful and if this video is helpful resolving your issues or if you found another way to resolve this issue, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.